Hello and welcome to Rosebell Rebel with your host Tisa Rebel Beltran. So it's been a while. I feel like I kind of sound like that new TikTok like voice thing. Well, let's just say this: I have recorded numerous podcast place to post. I just haven't. Um, life has been really busy. The holidays are here. And I've been super busy. Every weekend, there's something. This weekend, it's nothing. You want to know why? Because I started feeling sick. Last weekend, I went to the farmer's market with my sisters. Went to a couple of them. Did um, some holiday shopping for my nieces and nephews, the littlest ones. And then Sunday night, Monday morning, I started feeling sick. I was like, I'm just not feeling it. I feel like I'm getting a cold. Dylan's been sick, you know? Um, so then Wednesday, I was like, I just really don't feel good, Mom. Like, I feel like I did when I had COVID a year ago. I said, let me take the test. She was like, there's only one left. I said, okay, then I won't take it. I said, but what if I do have it? Then she's like, take the test. So I took the test. In three minutes, it was positive. Three minutes. And then all how that day, this was Wednesday, at work, so much shit. Read the headlines. I don't even know, think I have said where I worked, but it was all over the news. So I was freaking out. I was like, shit, what if I lose my job? But I you know, got the email saying that my job was secure. And um, I was like, I have COVID though right at this moment. And so, just so much, so much. So they're like, you need to have a doctor's a doctor's note stating that you're sick. So I went to the doctor. My doctor's like, well, um, you're showing all the symptoms, but your test is saying negative. I said, but it was super positive when I took it at home, and there's no way that they test false positives. The false negatives, I understand. She's like, yeah. She's like, so I'm really confused. I didn't tell her, though, because the the, the assistant did not go deep up in my nose. She just kind of, like, wiped a little bit. But when I took the test on my own at home, I went up in my grill. I was up in that nose, getting everything, making sure that I got all these juices because my nose is really boogery. Sorry to tell you guys. Um, and it tested positive really quickly. So I was like, can Flonase or Afrin? Cause I have Afrin. I was like, can Afrin make your nose? Like, can, so I Googled and I was like, okay, so you can't get a fucking false a positive because of fucking Afrin. And so, um, my doctor was like, here's a note. You're going to have to treat this as if it is a positive because you did get a positive. And so I'm off work with COVID pay because I'm fucking sick and quarantined in my room again. This time, it's not as bad as it was last time because last time I was deathbed. I was on my deathbed. I couldn't breathe. My mom would come in here and check on me to see if I was still breathing. Um, I'm breathing better. Like I, you know, at first I was like, I just don't want to get my punk rock ass. I was like, I really don't want to fucking get. Uh, vaccinated because all these conspiracy theories in my head and I'm not like a deep down like hardcore conspiracy theorist but I am allergic to fucking everything that I and I have bad side effects to every medication usually that I take that is man-made that you know I was afraid something was going to happen to me the first time my first shot I did get like little um i Lost a little bit of time in the 15 minutes that they had me sitting there. I was just like, I lost my fucking uh, vaccination card and everything in like five minutes. It was the weirdest thing. Like I lost a little bit of time and I was like, what the fuck? So, but this time around, <clears throat> I did lose my taste, <laughs> my taste and smell. And those are the things that I love the most is my taste and smell. Because I love the smell of my candles and I love the smell of things and the taste of my food. You know, that's like joy. And like, what do I have? (laughs) Like, there's no point in eating. But I'm like, okay, you got to fucking eat. Like today I hadn't eaten all day. And my mom was like, did you eat? And I'm like, kind of. 
She's like, I'm making you soup. Do you want soup? And I was like, yeah. I'm just, I'm just like so sad that I can't eat. I can't, well, I can't eat. I just can't taste anything. COVID is a fucking whore, you guys. An evil bitch. But I am thankful that I did get, I had my two boosters. I was supposed to get my third one this month, but instead I got sick. Um, but hopefully I'm better by Friday because we have big family plans. So all weekend it's a party for Christmas. Oh my God. And then the next weekend is other shit. I need to do so many things. Oh my God. So anyway, that's what's going on and that's what's up. Oh my God. I have to cough one moment. Speaking of coughing, my medication, my cough medicine is in pill form, which is kind of shitty. Cause I was just like, I would just like to feel the cough medicine going down. And, uh, it's a little tiny pill. And I was like, whatever. And they said to take it three times a day. I took it once when it, my sister got home with the meds. I guess that was like an eight. I took it. Um, and I'll just take it again in the morning. I just took four ibuprofen. That's 800 milligrams. So I could pass out because as I said, medication makes me all weird. And so once I take ibuprofen, I'm like passing out. So that's what's up right now is I'm like sitting here in bed while laying here, half laying. I don't know what I did. Watching some YouTube stuff right now. I've been watching so much Will and Grace and Golden Girls and, uh, I just don't want to commit to anything new, even though I'm laying in bed, but that means I'd have to pay attention. And what if I fall asleep? So I started Wednesday and I was just like, I don't on Wednesday. I started Wednesday and I was like, what if I pass out? I don't want to start, but I haven't fallen asleep like I did yesterday and the day before today's Friday. Okay. I'm just hoping that I'm better by Sunday. I missed the wedding today. I'm very sad about Um, my friends got married today and I missed it horseshit right yeah oh my god i feel like a sneeze is coming oh so here's some crazy shit i bent over so my bed is on high risers my friend was like you should get high risers then you could put all your shit under your bed to make more space and da, da, da. it is amazing and i have done it but i started and i left the stuff outside there's so much going on in this house and uh so the the I'm on the the bed. It's really high, and it you know it, I'm really short, so it's really hard. I have to climb into bed, and oh my god, here comes a cough again. I think it's because I'm fucking talking that I'm coughing. Stupid ass fucking body. But anyways, so my remotes fell on the floor on the side of my bed. Oh my god. So I guess I'm just gonna tell this story because my voice is going away now. And talking is making me cough. So this is what happening when I was working all week. So my remotes, <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm just sick. So the remotes fell on the side of the bed. And so I was reaching for them. And my shoulder kind of went out of socket. And it was hurting really badly. So I sat up real quick and sat on the edge of the bed and like rubbed my arm and popped my shoulder popped my socket back into socket you know what i'm saying and then my nose started bleeding right then and there isn't that crazy (laughs) it wasn't like a lot of blood i think it was just from the the shock of the pain it just started bleeding just a little bit that was it it wasn't like gushing or anything it was just like a little bit of blood i hope i'm not dying but anyways i can't talk so i'm gonna <clears throat> just say hello to you guys and miss you guys. And once I'm better and able to like talk and not cough, I'm definitely going to be posting a better episode. Oh my God. And I'm, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just sick. And then life. And I love you guys. I love my listeners. And I know there's some new n- listeners. Thank you from my, because of my friend talking about my podcast to her work. I love you. If you're listening, which I, I'm sure you are because you love me and I love you. <sighs> okay. Maybe I can talk. I don't know. You know what's going on? I am so hot right now. I think I'm breaking a fever. I had to turn the fan on. I'm like hot and cold. And then plus my parents put the air, the heater up all the way to like 70 something. And the heat is hitting me. Oh my God. My voice is going again. All right, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. My name. <laughs> uh, Thank you for tuning in. My name is Tisa. This is Roosevelt Rebel. This is just 
me saying hello. This isn't even a full episode. I'm just sick. I just want you guys to know that I'm not ignoring you. <clears throat> um, send me things to make me happy. Like, I have been bawling all week about dog videos. So, send me some things that'll make me happy. <laughs> I like to cry. I'm a sad girl. So, thanks for tuning in. My name is Tisa. Rebel Beltran, check me up on all the Instagram and social stuff. And I'll talk to you really soon once I'm able to talk for, oh, 10 minutes and not dying. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for listening for this little bit. Uh, bye-bye.